strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you could possibly imagine. Welcome back everybody, it is Bulldog here, and today I'm going to talk about a pair of third parties that can help you manage your rentals in Splinterlands. In a recent video, I mentioned that I had a bot that was auto automating my rental, my rental process, so making it very easy for me to rent out my cards, and some of you, some of you were amazed. I got so many comments wanting to know what this service was. You did not know this existed. And I just got so many questions. So we're gonna go over, over some of the options here. There are two that I know of. There might be more out there. I'm not 100% sure. But the two I'm most familiar with are Splinter Rents and Splex. I'm honestly not 100% sure that I pronounce Splex right, but that's the way I read it. So that's what we're going with. They are, if you've heard of the Rental Golem before, that's kind of becoming become a popular term. They have rebranded to Splex because they're actually offering more services now. So we'll talk about that a little bit as well. But what these what these services do is they they automate your rentals for you. So they will you will tell them what cards you want to rent. If you've just got extra cards laying around, maybe you're trying to collect cards to level one up, but you don't have enough yet. So you've just got those level ones lying around. You could rent those out and get a little profit. Or like in my case, I don't play that much on the weekends a lot of times. So I'll frequently rent my cards out for two or three days and just collect a little extra income that way. So if you just have some days where you're not playing and want to, want to still get some returns on your cards, that can be a great way to do it. What these will do is they'll take the cards that you tell them to rent they will go list them on the market for you. Previously, when I was doing it myself, I would just list it at the lowest price and hope and, and hope they'd get picked up quickly. They won't do that. They'll look back through the history of those cards. Kind of, they, they each have their own unique algorithm that they use, but they'll look back through through histories essentially and, and see what they think these cards will rent for and, and get picked up relatively soon. Then every so often, they will check. So they'll run some checks and see, oh, well, this card isn't getting picked up. Let's lower the price on it or this card was rented out, but now the price has gone up a little bit. A lot of times as the season goes on, prices get higher towards the end of the season. So it'll check and if it thinks it can rent it out for more, it'll cancel that rental. And when the rental is up, it'll relist it at the appropriate price. And it automates all of that for you. And that is a huge time saver and has, has honestly done better than, than I was doing. So as far as which one performs the best, I, I don't know. I've tried them both. I haven't noticed a significant difference, but they were small sample size. It can be hard to compare from one point in the season to another point in the season or another point in a different season. So there, there's so many factors there. I I didn't directly notice a huge difference, but it, it's certainly possible one could be superior or maybe one superior with one type of card and another was superior and another type of card. And those, those algorithms are constantly being refined and gathering more information. And as the market changes, so 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 much can change there so I'm not going to recommend one over another based on performance that way but we're going to take a look at some of the differences and and how they both work and do a little bit of compare and contrast to show these to you guys so all right let's go jump in here for the first one we will look at splinter rents so splinter rents is is simply a Discord bot here. Let's scroll back up to the, the top. There's an invite link in this description. I've got a link to both of them in the description here. But you can come in here, you can come into onboarding, and it is very simple. Splinter Rents is a, is a bot that you will send direct messages to, and you will register that way. You will you can configure the cards that way. The, the big advantage to Splinter Rents is, is pretty simple. They only charge a 5% fee. Splex currently has a 20% fee, now that that is i think that is being reduced i heard a rumor it was going down to 10 percent, but they did say they were going to look at lowering that as they're adding more features and more services that can can kind of help support the the servers and, and all of that the rental fees have been have been going down and as they're picking up more rentals so i have heard that price is going down but right now it's five percent versus twenty percent in terms of their their fees or, or their commissions so pretty simple advantage to splinter rents right you come here it's very easy to to fill out the or to fill out the, to follow these steps you can sign an account up in in less than a minute at one point it does ask for a referral code if you put in bulldog 1205 i would really appreciate it if you opt to use them not required it doesn't actually give you any benefit it doesn't hurt you at all but it would be a way to to kind of support this channel a, a little bit but it's all fairly simple to use. Both both websites ask that you pay your invoice once a week. For Splinter Rents, it's as simple as sending DEC to their account in-game. So very easy to, to send in 
um, send in your payment that way. And it, it, it's all fairly, it's all fairly straightforward. So not a, not a ton to go over there because again, the benefit of them is quite simple. They have the lowest fee. That was the biggest benefit I saw with them. So let's go over real quick to Splex as I try to go through, try to go through these fairly quick. I always fail at making quick videos, but we'll see how quickly we can get this one done. So Splex here is, let's kind of go back to the, we'll go back to the, the main site. It's it's much more user friendly. It's an actual website that you can go in. It's a lot easier to look at, at data that's presented to you. It's it's just kind of, it's kind of easier to use. And it provides all that information right there in one spot. So when you, when you first go here, you can actually type in your username and you can see what the expected rental return for your or your your cards would be so before you even sign up or register or anything that's that's kind of cool that you can start that uh there but then if we go over to our accounts here i can actually they, they present a lot more information so you can see all of your accounts here how much they're each bringing in like well, like splinter splinter rents, rents it doesn't even show you live like how much your cards you're earning or, or things like that so it's very nice being able to see all this now you can go over to like peak monsters or something and still see your data and how much you're 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 bringing in there are other places that you can find some of this data but it's nice to have it just all right here if we go into one of these accounts it will then even break things down even more and show you the apy on each card and this is one of the things that i like the i like the most being able to look in look in here and see which of my cards are giving me the most bang for my buck in terms of rental prices so because then you can you can go do a lot with that information. What I've been doing with some of my accounts is earning some rental returns and then turning around and buying up the cards that are giving me the best returns. And that's actually a strategy I recommend a lot to some of the newer players is, is instead of going and buying the cards you want to play with, go buy some of the cards that have the highest returns or for rentals, rent those cards out take the money that you're getting and go rent the cards that you actually want to play with and you can actually profit a little bit that way and plus it gives you some more flexibility especially like with with new players that that don't always know or i mean even veteran players that like to change their cards around or maybe you're not sure which ones you you want or you're you're playing on a water focus today so you'll rent water cards and then you want to go rent earth cards when you get an earth focus that type of thing so it's nice that you can see what the, the API is. You can actually come up here to accounts and they have some of the like some of the developer accounts that are in there. So you can kind of look through their cards and see which are getting the highest API there. I, I believe I, I've seen some some teasers where they're working on showing the API for every card at every level. So you can actually go search. Um, make it very easy to, to see what the best earnings in the game are at the at the moment. So that'd be interesting when they when they roll out that, that roll that out. Right now you can only see what's actually in that in that account, but it's still very very useful inf information to see here. You can see the cost of what it is now versus when you loaded it up into into Splex. It's got a time till paid off. If you're trying to if you're buying cards in order to rent them out and get a return, you can see like okay this this card will be I'll, I'll have paid for the card entirely. In, uh, in this many days, or I've, I've paid off this percentage of it. So there, there's a lot of good information here, and it's very easy to use. And like I said, they're adding more features as well. They are partnering with the Archmage bot. If you can see that, that icon up here, that uh, that partnership is launching here very, very soon. I think like tomorrow, actually, like that soon, where our Archmage is a bot. So if you, instead of renting your cards out, you want to use a bot to play your cards, you can actually do that as well. And Archmage is a is a is a bot that's gotten a lot of attention lately for being a very very effective and actually being able to put some some accounts into the Champion League leaderboard and, and things like that. So it's it's not necessarily for bot farms. It's for for more individual accounts and, and things like that. It doesn't set up large Bronze League farms or anything like that. It's more of a what, what people have called a premium bot. So that part that partnership is, is here, and you'll be able to manage all of that on one page and everything. So there there's a lot more powerful information here. It's a lot easier to use, but it does come at a cost of a slightly higher fee. So that, that's kind of the, the overall summary of of comparing. The, the two websites and I've used them both. I like them. I like them both. And my rental income jumped up significantly with these. So I was previous, I was kind of lazy managing them. I would just list my cards for like what the lowest price was. 
Um, Peak Monsters will allow you to, to list for the lowest price on the market. I just list everything for the current best price. And then every two or three days, I'd go through and and relist things or or rate, cancel and raise prices if the if I wasn't getting a good price or whatever it was. And both of these both of these systems basically doubled the amount of income that I was pulling in from them. Well worth the fees that they that they were taking. So if you're wanting to rent out your cards and you don't want to manage them on a on a day to day basis or, or multiple times a day. This is a great service to use, and I, and I do recommend them. And they are they are secure, they are safe. So that, that's gonna be another question that we get a lot of times, because you do give them your posting key, or you, you log in, like with Splex, you log in with, uh, with your keychain. On Splinter Rents, you actually go into your account and delegate posting authority, and it, it tells you exactly how to do that. It's very easy to do. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's got a step-by-step -step instruction, so don't worry about that. So with posting, both of them will essentially have posting authority and that allows them to rent out cards, but you cannot actually, they cannot take anything from your account. They cannot withdraw DEC or, or sell your cards or anything like that. That requires an active key. With, with a posting key, there's very limited amounts of things that they can do. I, and I can't imagine they would ever want to do this, but even if, even if something happened and and they wanted to do something nefarious with the posting key. I, I mean, there, there's not much they could do. They could go make some blog posts for you. They could go play some battles for you. I, I mean, they can't actually withdraw anything from your account just using that that posting key. So I, again, you can never be 100% sure with, with anything, but I, I feel very confident saying that, uh, that nothing nefarious is even going to be attempted. And again, even if they wanted to, there's a very limited, uh, there's very limited things that they could even do. They're not gonna steal you, steal your, they're not gonna be able to even steal your money or steal your assets or anything like that. So uh, and that was a long way, long winded way of saying that, that I, I fully believe that these are safe to use and there's no risk there. So anyways, let me know what you guys think. Have you used either of these? Did you find one better than another? Is there a, is there a third or are there other websites out there that can do the same thing that, that you would recommend? So I, I'm very curious to know, or if you guys tried it, what were your results? Did you get better better returns? Everyone I know that's tried these have seen an increase in, in return from rentals. So I think a lot of people are going to like this. So let me know your thoughts. I will see you guys around. Thanks a ton.